Once upon a time when Vietnam was in civil war between feudal warlords, there was Shan, a young and kind man. Shan had great knowledge about traditional medicine, with which he generously helped people in need. Shan was loyal to the Taishan lord, the working class hero. However, the Taishan lord was soon defeated by the powerful Nguyen lord. The Nguyen lord began to kill those who supported the Taishan. People in the neighborhood worried for Shan and advised him to go away. They helped with money, rice and everything else he needed, including a small boat. Downstream on the Mekong River, he entered the country of Chen La, present-day Cambodia. In Chen La, he was supported by a local family, where he called their beloved daughter of a serious illness. Yeah, it's like the seeds of decay into the fruit of pleasure, they said as they turned on heels, running into the water. They were all out of the gravel pit. Their body didn't really dive in, but crouched and shot forward sideways over rocks in the shallows. The dull white chalkiness of the piles and pits made the water look so turquoise. It was leached with irrigation chemicals they never knew the names of. They swam there anyways. The writhers, now become sitters, perched up a bit and watched down at swimmer. Their pinkening body parts going in and out of the water. The longer the body stayed in the water, the pinker it got. Writhers yelled down, Hey swimmer, do you know your skin is turning really pink? You're changing color. Faced away and clearing water out of nose and mouth, they gurgled a bit, but got out. I, uh, yeah, swimmer spitting. I noticed that. It doesn't hurt or anything, though. I think it's okay. The head went underwater a moment, and in the same movement spun to face, now one sitter and now one querent up on the hill. <laughs>